Oh, hello there. Welcome back, my gardening friends. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me uh, where I get my pallet collars from, and I've never had to actually physically buy any. But if you do want to buy them, you can get them from uh, the DIY superstores here in the UK, but they're very, very expensive uh, and very flimsy. Uh, but and, and also you can actually look on the uh, internet but there again you're, you're having to pay for them so with me gardening on a budget um, they come in all different sizes shapes colors I am not bothered because at the end of the day they do a great job and if you travel around some of the industrial estates you'll see the companies that actually use these regularly and they do get damaged very easily with the uh, forklift trucks etc uh, they get bashed about these get damaged and they can't be bothered to uh, repair them uh, or the uh, forklift truck will just take a, a massive uh, chunk out of the wood and they perhaps just discard them so just let them know that you're after that sort of thing and if they're kind enough and you say it's for your allotment they may uh, may give you some of the better ones as well uh, I am lucky enough because I work in the construction industry and I have contractors that do use these and um, once they get damaged uh, they let me have them so it's well worth asking your friends and asking people that you know if uh, they know anybody that uses these or they've, they've got some that you can actually have and with them coming flat pack like this they're so easy to uh, to use one just needs uh, uh, repairing so we can sit on nicely but they're as easy as that uh, to put together and I line mine on the inside to, to protect the wood I don't paint the wood I did originally on some of these but I do like the wood to breathe so any moisture that gets down the back can come out this side and I find that uh, the best way uh, at the moment we'll find out in uh, years to come and I'll put them on uh, slabs and uh, these pieces here sit on the slabs uh, and it keeps the gap from the soil or the wood chips that you put down on the ground so that they uh, they don't rot from the bottom I'll just show you and have you a little look round and then if you like the content of this uh, video you might want to consider subscribing So I've even used the uh, pallet collars uh, as um, a coal frame stroke keep the uh, moisture off my uh, carrots and I normally have them uh, four high and uh, I put sacrificial boards in there uh, using uh, milk bottle tops as spacers so the actual wood chips that touch the wood draw the moisture in but it doesn't go as far as going into our pallet collars and then the moisture disappears once these rot they're easily replaced because they're just uh, pallet wood these pallet collars actually sit on top of pallets so that's why they're called pallet collars but uh, I've got quite a few along here all the way down there and then I've got two rows uh, uh, running this way which uh, I've got my garlic growing in this one I've got some uh, shallots uh, in this one I've got my brew balls opria and then like pearl leeks uh, living leeks these are the walking onions so I had a few sent me I've got those growing in there and I've just put these on just to see if I can uh, attract any slugs they're new beds so we shouldn't have any issues uh, with slugs he says but we'll give them somewhere nice and dry to hide under this will be one of next year's carrots beds I do plant my carrots in the same place every year as long as I don't get the motley dwarf virus spread by the carrot willow aphid uh, so this has had no manure but it's got a piece of cardboard on top uh, to stop uh, the weeds forming and growing 
Um, I've used uh, several pallet collars high to try and bring the celery along. Uh, failed miserably, full of baby baby slugs and uh, it's caused me uh, a little bit of grief. Not got much out of that, but always experiment. And uh, that bed over there is this year's parsnips. They're all been tucked up now with a load of um, mulching so that uh, they don't freeze in the ground so it's nice and easy for me to harvest them. So if you don't want to spend any money on pallet collars or your raised beds then it's a little bit of effort but it's well worth it and uh, doing swapses and everything else bartering I've got this can I have that etc so why not have a little go ask your friends family happy gardening to you all till next time my friends it's half an hour